folks, in this project we're building an LED heart with NeoPixels. This uses black LED acrylic to diffuse the NeoPixels inside a 3D printed case. We were inspired to use this material by Charlin on Twitter. The heart is made from pieces of strips that are daisy chained to create a custom matrix. This acrylic allows the colors of the LEDs to shine through and it features a nice matte finish. When the LEDs are off, it looks like they disappear, giving this a really cool hidden effect. You can change the colors of the LEDs using the Adafruit BLE Connect app for iOS or Android. You can also trigger LED animations like the classic Paint Your Dragon Rainbow Swirl. With the Itsy Bitsy NRF52840, you can easily add BLE to your wearable projects. The board and battery are housed in a separate 3D printed case. We also added a LiPo backpack so you can recharge the battery over USB. A little 3D printed button lets you trigger the reset so you can easily update the firmware. We think this case will work really nice for your next wearable project. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. The 3D printed parts are designed to print without any support material and the components all snap fit. The code for this project is written in CircuitPython and it uses Adafruit's BLD libraries. With CircuitPython, you can easily make updates and quickly iterate on your code. You can change the colors or add your own to the different buttons in the BLE Connect app. We think this is great demo code for folks looking to quickly get their projects up and running. To cut the acrylic, we used the CNC milling machine from Bantam Tools. We needed to make sure our stock fits the spoil board, so we got pre-cut sheets that are 100 by 100 millimeters. This has two sides, one that's shiny and the other one has the matte finish. You'll want to use the shiny side for adhering to the spoil board. Double-sided tape works nicely and should hold well with just three strips. We used an eighth inch single flute upcut spiral bit. This one's really nice for plastics and aluminum. Be sure to check out the learn guide for a full step-by-step -step tutorial on building this project. For more CNC projects, you can check out our Milling Monday playlist. We generated the tool paths in Fusion 360 and set up the job with the Bantam Tools software. I used a 2D contour to carve out the outline of the heart cover. With a step down of 0.2 millimeters, it only takes about eight minutes to cut out a piece. To clean up the snowflakes, I used a tiny tube style vacuum attachment. I like to use alcohol to soften the adhesive and then a palette knife to get underneath the stock. I offset the z-axis by 0.2 millimeters so I wouldn't scuff up the bed because I totally did on the first try. We think this is really nice material for LED projects. We think this is a really sweet CNC milling project, but you could also use a laser cutter. We cut a strip of mini skinny NeoPixels with a total of 46 LEDs. To create the LED matrix, we cut them up into individual pieces and lay them out to form the shape of a heart. A large piece of packaging tape will allow us to stick them together so they stay in place. We needed to make sure that all of the pieces are nicely lined up with each other. We put together a wiring diagram so you can reference that and get the correct placement. With all of the LEDs lined up in place, we can then trim away any excess tape with scissors. You'll need to remove bits of tape to expose the solder pads on the end of each row. To connect the strips together, we measured and cut pieces of silicone cover ribbon wire. Each end of the strips are tinned with a bit of solder and connect to the pieces of ribbon wire. We made sure to reference our wiring diagram to get the correct polarity for each connection. The first NeoPixel in the chain is wired to a longer piece of wire that will act as the necklace. The three connections from the LED matrix are wired to pin number five, voltage and ground. The itsy bitsy LiPo backpack can then be wired next. Cut the trace for the switch with a pair of flush cutters using the mounting hole as an anchor. The LiPo backpack is wired to the fat, ground, and USB pins on the Itsy Bitsy board. Two wires are soldered to the switch pins on the LiPo backpack. You'll want to tin the leads on the slide switch with a bit of solder. Solder the wires to the middle pin in either the far left or right. The Itsy Bitsy board snap fits into the case and is held in place with tabs. The LiPo backpack is press fitted into place and the slide switch fits into a little built-in holder. A piece of NinjaFlex can be used to create the second strap to form our necklace. 
the wiring and filament are inserted into the slits on the side of the case. This 500 milliamp LiPo battery can then be connected and should give us a few hours of runtime. The little button is placed over the reset and then the cover can be press fitted on top. Snap fits on the side of the case will keep the cover nicely secured in place. The LED matrix is fitted inside the heart case with the wiring and filament fitted through the slits. After that, the acrylic can then be fitted on top and there you have it. We really like the look of this project and think it's a great example of mixing 3D printing with CNC milling. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit.